The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 796. Good Sportsmanship? Where? And that, word for word, is what he asked me to tell you, how finished giving Valet a curtsy. You have had a gauntlet thrown down. Yeah, well, tell this Yulio to take a hike, Valet replied, busy stretching. I have a fight to get to. How unscrupulously scurried away, leaving Valet groaning internally. To be fair, it wasn't like she should have expected to make it for the tournament without making a few enemies. She had even seen Yulio looking at her that night in the restaurant. Still, someone who would rather challenge her by deliberately one-upping something she had done instead of telling her they were a rival to her face? If he could do that, he was dangerous. Especially when one of the fighters he had beaten that way was Marina. She rubbed a cutie mark, making her way to the exit for her fight. It was still bothering her, a low-key, extremely constant tingling that served to put her on edge more than anything. That didn't stop it from working, fortunately. Thinking about punching the buffest creature in the room and starting a backstage brawl still sent waves of bad idea down her flanks. But was it malfunctioning, or... Was this a sign that she should pack up and go home? The latter wasn't on the table. Valet fixed her grin back on her face. Uh, she had come this far in the tournament and finally had a reason she cared about to see it through to the end. No reason whatsoever. Sure, it would be dangerous, but so was every other thing she had done in her life and she wasn't going to leave herself with regrets about this one. Straightening her beret, Valet marched up the staircase towards the battlefield. All right, Valet demanded, strolling out into the morning light. So, how's this gonna go? Two against one? Gonna try your odds ganging up on me? Neither of her opponents were listening. Diego was having an intense stare down with a wiry griffin in a teal shawl who sported impossibly sharp eyes. Stand back, Valet, Diego warned, holding a hoof out without blinking or looking away. We might have scheduled this as a last bony stand-in, but for me, it's a grudge match. You sit tight and just fight the winner. Valet blinked, scratching her head. Is that legal? Master Kickface knows no rules except kicking face, the Griffin replied in a thin, tweedy voice. And his feet... Have been challenged! Valet covered her ears from the force of his avian outburst, backing off a few steps. Okay, okay, a little personal history here. Look, I just want to fight someone good, but you two clearly have a thing going. A series of explosions sounded from the other side of the field as a unicorn engaged in the simultaneous match at the other side of the field let off some gigantic spell. It sounded more like a backfire than an attack, but Diego and Master Kickface took it as a cue to start, sailing into each other with gusto. The griffin's hind paw collided with Diego with a terrific thwack, but even as Diego flipped backwards from the force, he turned the momentum into an attack of his own, slicing upward with his augmented horn and scoring a tear on Kickface's shawl. Ah, uh, Valet stood and stared, entirely unsure if she should do anything. Master Kickface kicked again, and Diego met it with a punch from a reinforced combat boot, a shockwave of force crackling as the tide seemingly turned in his favor. Scraaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
have nothing to... Her cutie mark twinged suddenly in intensity, and she sidestepped, a boulder torn from the floor and launched by the nearby battle rolling right through the space where she had stood. Diego and Master Kickface weren't so lucky to have the powers of foresight she did, and the rock clipped the griffin's tail, earning a yowl of fury. Who dares? Kickface demanded, breaking away from Diego and holding up a talent for peace as he stalked toward the other melee. Scheduling issues, Diego replied, rubbing a bruise and sporting a considerable black eye. Are you finished? Master Kickface spat on the ground. Interruption? For interruption! Let's mess them up so we can get back to a battle in peace! Valet raised an eyebrow, taking a few steps after him. Okay, I'm definitely sure that one is against the rules. The Cerosian has no brain, Master Kickface admonished, shaking his head in determined exasperation and quickening his stride. The only rule is kicking face! Diego charged after him, leaving Valet blinking and following along with caution. The other battle was between Saffron, a small unicorn with a large horn, and a pegasus who looked to be having a very bad day. Valet raced closer, sizing up the situation. Saffron had spotted Kickface coming and was fighting a defensive battle, her horn projecting a shield, mostly covering for herself while the smaller unicorn held up Pegasus in a bad position. The unicorn looked up at the last second, ears folding as he realized what he was about to be hit by. Yeah! Wah! Master Kickface threw himself into the outer battle, heading straight for the little unicorn who was most likely the cause of the boulder. He spun into a whirling kick, the unicorn bracing himself for impact. But the Pegasus wasn't a slouch, taking advantage of her captor's distraction and kicking him in the horn. Kickface grabbed the unicorn, preparing to boot him with a paw. Do you mind? Sunflower called, looking heavily exasperated. Master Kickface did mind, kicking the smaller unicorn like a kickball straight at Saffron's head. But the Pegasus, having had more than enough and fighting everything in self-defense, immediately retaliated with a ferocious hind kick directly between Kickface's legs, causing his eyes to bug in pain. Hey! Saffron cried, her shield flickering and breaking as the unicorn's horn exploded again, sending out an unstable shockwave right before hitting it. She staggered back, giving Kickface a glare while staying well out of range of her thrown opponent. You wanna fight that way? Better be prepared to get back what you put in! As Saffron stomped forward, Diego blew past her, grabbing the Pegasus who had attacked Kickface and grappling her away. No! That's my rival! I'm the one who'll be defeating him this tournament! Kickface weaved, suddenly free, only to see Saffron bearing down on him. Rolling upright, he juked around a horn blast, preparing to fight her as well, and launched into a vicious signature flying kick. That was the point where Valet decided enough was enough. Nope, she called, flipping above Master Kickface and grabbing him from above. Before he could even reach Saffron, she latched onto his tail, swung him like a hammer throw, and slammed him into the ground, finishing with a winding blow to his chest as he landed. Not your battle! And that's my friend, Valet lectured, standing on the griffin's head. Below her, he wheezed and passed out. To be fair, we were asking for this to happen, Saffron apologized, resummoning her shield. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to. Another horn backfire sounded a short distance away, and Diego slumped to the ground, having been ganged up on by the Pegasus he tackled and the small, unstable unicorn. Ah, Valet remarked when he didn't rise. I guess I win. End of chapter 796